Hi, this is a video tutorial on troubleshooting the Magic Mirror setup for Windows. So if you're having any problems setting up the Magic Mirror on Windows, hopefully this video will help. So the first thing you want to do is plug in the Sensor Hub. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. When I say Sensor Hub, if you have just an Arduino um, with the shield attached to it, that's the same thing. So what you want to do is make sure that it was found by Device Manager. So I'm just going to type a little shortcut here. And by the way, I'm on Windows 7, but Windows Vista and Windows XP are also supported. So you see here it found the serial port, so that's a good sign. If I unplug it, you can see it go away, so you know that's the right port. Let me plug it back in. And also, very important that um, it has to be on a COM port that's COM 9 or less. The COM port cannot be COM 10 or higher, so basically it can't be double digits. If that happens, then what you do, like let's say this was on COM11 or COM10, then you would go here, go to properties, go to, let's see, I think, yeah, here it is, advanced, and then you would just pick a different port. Um, chances are, hopefully you're not using all of them. And then uh, go ahead and hit OK, and then it would, it would change to that new port. So that's also very important. So let's close that. The next thing you want to do is run the configuration program. And you notice that I was on COM8, so I go over here and I want to make sure I'm also on 8. So in this case, 5338. If I was on COM7, then I would pick this one, COM6, this one. Uh, minor chance here, but if you happen to be running on a Decimilia, which is the older Arduino board with the 168 CPU instead of the 328 at Mega, then you'd want to pick version 2.0. Most people, though, would have the newer uh, seed board that comes with the kit or the, um, I don't know how to say, the, the newer version of the Arduino that has the, the 328. So pick version 4, leave that as the default, and then just hit save, close down, and then we can try running it. So what you want to do is find the um, icon that looks like this, run Magic Mirror. Don't click this one. Actually, if you see that one, that's just a delete it. That's not supposed to be there. That's a byproduct of the way it, the Adobe installer works. But uh, look for this one that says Run Magic Mirror. Hit Run. You notice the first thing I do is going to start what's called the Serial Proxy Server. So you'll see that show up here. I'll talk about that in a second. And this is very important. That screen that just came up there. That actually reset the board. Um, has to do that before each time you run it. And um, I wasn't in verbose mode, so let me do that so you can see what's going on. So let me go back here. And you want to make sure you're in verbose mode. Hit save. And let's just do that one more time. Okay, serial proxy server is already running. Again, this screen, very important. If you don't see that screen that just came up there, then you have a problem. And then now I'm running in verbose mode, so it tells me what's going on. So I see it found the sensor hub port there so that's a very good sign and um, here you can just see the status of all the sensors that you have turned on so for example if I change the character see how this changes right here this is just reading the value of the potentiometer okay so um, that is pretty much it uh, hopefully that was helpful if you have any questions though just check the forums or, or drop us a note on the website thanks a lot